If you want to ask a customer how they want things packaged, you need to set up a packaging variant. So that could be a bag, a box or a bottle. You may well have them stocked in the inventory and be pulling them through to the sales catalogue. Let's have a look. Let's use paper bags as our packaging variant example. So in the inventory, look for paper bags. There we are, so we can see there, small and large paper bags stocked in the inventory. Um, they will have two boxes of a thousand and get down to 250 paper bags. So that's nicely done in the inventory. We can now go to the sales catalogue. Using a cafe as an example retailer, I have created a category called bags and hidden it. And in the bags you can see are the small and large paper bag which have been synchronised from the inventory, pulled through from the back. And I've also added own container in case you have a customer that says, don't worry I'll put them in my own bag. And that obviously won't be in the inventory as it's not stock controlled. So to make sure your customer sees the packaging option, we create it here and click on packaging variant. Go and get the bags and call it how do you want it packaged. And then it pulls them through. Show the option and make sure you put the capacity in each um, variant because obviously you're going to need more bags for more chocolate buttons than you would cookies and you need to know exactly what capacity your packaging materials can hold. That applies to volume as well. In this example, our small paper bag has the capacity of one chocolate chip cookie and a large paper bag can hold five and the own container is left empty as we assume the customer brings enough to carry as many cookies as they like. Okay, so let's look at it from a customer's point of view. Treats and sweets. There's our chopped chip cookie. So if I order one, two, three, I've got, oops, I need to make a selection, small paper bag. It says three small paper bags because I've got three cookies. Oh, let's have a large paper bag. I can have five. And I need one large paper bag as the capacity is five. Cool, huh? And then looking at it on the pause, So say I'm stood in front of my customer, treats and sweets, they want a chalk chip cookie and it's a small paper bag. I'm having five, still says I need five small paper bags or chalk chip cookie in a large paper bag. Ten, I need two because it holds five. Then go and do the rest in the sales catalogue because the buttons were sold in weight. So you'll have to add a packaging option and make sure that it's done by weight. So we get bags, container, small paper bag for the chocolate buttons is capacity in grams. We'll put 500 grams. A large paper bag can hold, let's say, a kilo. And you may well want to charge for a paper bag and not if the customer is using their own container. So go click on the um, item category here and click on pricing and availability. And if you want to charge for a paper bag, we could put 0.5. Four. and keep this one blank and we can default to a large paper bag. So a quick summary is packaging variants are for ancillary items such as jars, bottles, paper bags, um, containers. 